Don't forget to like and subscribe for more neat facts to discover the world one click at a time. Home to one of the oldest civilizations and the Taj Mahal, there's no denying the rich culture of the Republic of India. India is the seventh largest country by area, and the largest democratic country in the world. At an average of 51 births per minute, India is second to China in the world's biggest population. As the second largest tea producer in the world and supplying 70% of the world's spices, India has one of the world's fastest growing economies. Aside from giving us yoga, curry, and other mouth-watering cuisine, there's still a lot of interesting things to discover about India and its people. Watch on to find out! India is part of Asia. You may have gotten it mixed up in your history class, but India is located in the southern part of Asia. India has more than five bordering countries. India has a lot of neighbors. India is bordered by Pakistan, Bangladesh, Bhutan, Nepal, China, and Myanmar. India takes up 2.4% of the Earth's surface area. In case you missed it, India is huge. India's land area is 3,287,469 square kilometers, which is 2.2 times bigger than Alaska, USA. The distance between northern India to southern India is similar to the distance between Canada and Mexico. India has 22 official languages. If two random Indians met on the street, there is only a 36% chance that they can understand each other. India has 22 official languages Assamese, Bengali, Bodo, Dogri, Gujarati, Hindi, Kannad, Kashmiri, Konkani, Maithili, Malayalam, Meite, Marathi, Nepali, Odia, Punjabi, Sanskrit, Santali, Sindhi, Tamil, Telugu, and Urdu. India is an English-speaking country. Before being an independent country in 1947, India was colonized by the British for almost 100 years. It only makes sense that India adopted the language, as well as a love for cricket. Now India is the world's second largest English-speaking country. India has a population of more than 1.3 billion. According to UN data, India's population is estimated to be over a billion. 1,371,472,636 as of 2019. This is about 17.71% of the world's population found in India alone. India has the second largest population in the world. Following closely behind China's 1.4 billion, India is the second most populated country in the world with 1.37 billion people. If you're having a hard time picturing how big that is, India has a larger population than all the countries in the Western Hemisphere. India's population is growing dramatically. By the year 2050, India is expected to be the world's most populated country at an estimated population of 1.67 billion. That's pretty much the combined population of the US and China. India has 29 states. There are 29 states in India. The US still has the most states in the world at 50 states. Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Bihar, Chhattisgarh, Goa, Gujarat, Haryana, Himachal Pradesh, Jammu and Kashmir, Jharkhand, Karnataka, Kerala, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Manipur, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Nagaland, Odisha, Punjab, Rajasthan, Sikkim, Tamil Nadu, Telangana, Tripura, Uttarakhand, Uttar Pradesh, and West Bengal. Delhi is the most populated city in India. Delhi isn't just India's capital, but it's the most populated city with almost 30 million people. 
It's followed by Mumbai with over 20 million people. India has many different cultures. As one of the world's first civilizations that went under different kinds of rule, India has a diverse and complicated culture. Different norms and traditions are found in religion, philosophy, family structure, wedding rituals, cuisines, and clothing. The concept of Indian culture is so complex that it can't just refer to one thing. India celebrates many festivals. Festivals and holidays are almost endless in India because of their diverse religions. Christians celebrate Christmas, Muslims celebrate Eid, Sikhs have Baisakhi, birthdays for Gurus, Hindus have Diwali, Holi, Makar Sakranti, Jains have Mahavir Jayanti, Buddhists celebrate Buddhist birthday, and so on. India was named after a river. India was acquired from the river Sindhu, also known as Indus River. The official currency is known as Rupee. The official currency of India is called Rupee, and the official sign was adopted in 2010. The circulating series of banknotes currently features Mahatma Gandhi, who played a vital role in India's independence. India has six seasons. Because of its location, India experiences heavy rain yearly. There are six seasons in the Hindu calendar. Vasantaritu or spring, Grishmaritu, summer, Varsharitu, monsoon, Shadadritu or autumn, Hematritu or pre-winter, or Shiritu or winter. Namaste is an Indian greeting. Namaste is a popular greeting in India that means I bow to you in an acknowledgement saying may our minds meet. Families in India stay together under one roof. Unlike individualist Western households where kids move out, families in India stick together. It's common for parents, husband and wife, children and relatives to live together in one house. Cows are holy animals in India. In India, cows are worshipped as a maternal figure representing the bounty of Mother Earth. Feeding cows or contributing to cow shelters are seen as religious acts. The acknowledge that cows are a source of life-sustaining milk and slaughtering or eating cows is considered to be a sin, which is why most Indians are vegetarians. Fasting is an important part of Indian culture. Fasting is a basic part of Hindu culture. Indians believe that this act will prove their sincerity and express their gratefulness to the gods and goddesses. Fire is important for Indian weddings. Indian couples exchange their vows with Agni, god of fire, as a witness to the ceremony. The bride and groom would recite the sacred Hindi pledge of marriage and will take seven steps around the fire. India still practices arranged marriage. Arranged marriage in India started in Vedic times. For royal families, a ceremony known as a swayambar would be arranged for the bride. Today, the concept of arranged marriage continues to exist among the people of India and is a fundamental part of Indian traditions. 74% of women in India prefer arranged marriage. Almost 74% of Indian women today still prefer the arranged marriage setup wherein parents and relatives will choose who they think is best for their child as a lifetime partner. The success ratio between following your parents versus your own heart's desire surprisingly shows and proves that arranged marriage is far more successful. Indian brides wear their wedding rings on their toes. Wearing toe rings has been a tradition in India since the Ramayana times. Many brides today still continue this tradition wearing bichya as a wedding ring. The husband puts the bichya on the wife's toe during the wedding ceremony. India has one of the lowest divorce cases in the world. Statistics show that 1 in 100 marriages in India end in divorce. One of the lowest rates in the world. India has all the religions in the world. Even if 80% of Indians are Hindus, the country welcomes all kinds of religions or established communities of all the major world religions, including smaller sects. Less than 2% of people in India define themselves as atheists. Faith is an integral part of Indian culture. 
majority of the Indian population practices Hinduism at 79.8%. Other religions in India include Islam, 14.2%, Christianity, 2.3%, Sikhism, 1.7%, and Buddhism, 0.7%. India has the most number of mosques in the world. You can find over 300,000 mosques in India, which is more than any other Islamic nation. With their Muslim population in the country, there is one mosque for every 670 people. Indian temples have copper plates to absorb the positive energy from Earth. Most of the Indian temples are placed in the magnetic wave lines of the Earth, and they believe that it will maximize the available positive energy. A copper plate is buried under the main idol that absorbs the positive energy, and Indian believers go off into the temple to absorb this energy. Indian women wear saris. The sari is a single cloth ethnic wear for Indian women that is comfortable to use. It started out in the Hindu tradition that spread throughout India. Indians value their guests as much as they value God. If you ever visit an Indian household, you can expect to be treated like you're more than a king. Atithi Devu Bhava'a means the guest is equivalent to God. For Hindu, it is prescribed as a zestful host-guest relationship. India has many unique martial arts styles. India has diverse styles of martial arts. The Silambam, Kalari Payatu, Huyan Langdon, Mardani Kel, Gatka and Skwe are the most popular. These martial arts are still popular today in India for fitness exercises and self-defense. Indians enjoy eating with their hands. It's not unnatural for Indians to eat with their hands and savor their delicacies. However, they only typically eat with their right hand. Traditionally, the left hand is seen as unclean. Different regions in India have their own signature dishes. Indian food is an essential part of their culture and contributes to India's popularity across the world. Every region in India has its own signature dish. From Alu Gobi, Rogan Josh, Samosas, Malai Kofta, Mantar Paneer, Curries, and many more. Indian cuisine is so nuanced that even cooking styles vary from region to region. Chai is the national drink of India. Chai tea is more than just a cup of tea. Beginning the long day with a thick sweet drink is an essential part and tempo of life in India. As the second largest producer of tea in the whole world, it only makes sense that tea is an important part of Indians' lives. Mother Teresa and Mahatma Gandhi are the two most famous people in India. Two of the most known historical figures in India are Mother Teresa and Mahatma Gandhi, which are known for their heroism. It is not how much we give that counts, but how much love we put on giving. Mother Teresa The future depends on what we do in the present. Mahatma Gandhi Bollywood is the Hollywood of India Bollywood is the largest film producer in India and is also one of the largest film producers in the world. Bollywood is introduced as a Hindi cinema and has been growing its presence in Indian English. Bollywood films are mostly characterized by grand, colorful production and lively music sequences. India developed a missile named after the god of fire. India developed a ballistic missile and named it Agni Missile, or God of Fire. This missile is designated in India's special defense program. The caste system is still in place in India today. The caste system of India is one of the oldest forms of social distinction. Rural communities are arranged on the basis of castes. The upper and lower castes live in segregated colonies. It is often criticized for being unjust, but it continued for centuries in cornering people into fixed social orders, making it hard to escape. The caste system still affects modern India today. Priests and scholars are the highest, followed by nobles and warriors, then the business owners, and finally, the laborers or servants. There are eight types of classical dances in India. There are eight classical dances in India, which are Bharatnatyam, Katkali, Katak, Mohiniyattam, Kuchipudi, Odissi, Manipuri, and Satriya. 
The Kumela Festival in India is the world's biggest gathering of humans. This festival is celebrated four times over 12 years. Each time, over 100 million people attend the Kumela Festival. Air pollution in Mumbai is as bad as smoking 100 sticks of cigarettes. Inhaling air in Mumbai for a day is equivalent to smoking 100 sticks of cigarettes. The main contributors to this pollution are traffic congestion, greenhouse gas emission, fuel adulteration, and fuel biomass burning. Police officers are given higher pay for having a mustache. In Madhya Pradesh, India, the police officers are given a slight pay upgrade for having a mustache. It may seem funny, but their superiors believe that sporting a mustache will earn them more respect. There are not enough police officers in India. For every 100,000 people in India, there are only 130 police officers. Uttar Pradesh has the highest number of violent crimes in India, even though it also has the world's largest police force. An Indian man has the world's biggest family. Zayunachana holds the records of the world's biggest family. A man with 39 wives, 94 children, and 33 grandchildren. I consider myself a lucky man to be the husband of 39 women and the head of the world's largest family, Zayonachana. All of them live in a 100-room, four-story house in Batwang village in Mizoram. A man in India married a female dog. A man named Pisa Vakumar in southern India married a female dog in a traditional Hindu ceremony as an attempt to atone for stoning two other dogs to death. He believed that those acts had cursed him, and marrying the female dog was the only way he could overcome the curse. India issued IDs for all the buffaloes and cows. In 2017, 12-digit identification numbers were given to 41 million buffaloes and 47 million cows to identify them. This helped owners to track their cattle's activities and information more efficiently. In 2007, a similar exercise was done for the cows in West Bengal villages in order to stop the smuggling of cattle at the border of Bangladesh. India has the world's largest slave population. India holds the most number of slaves in the world. With an estimate of 14 to 18 million people, many work as slave labor in the brick kiln industry, including women and children. Over 50% of households in India did not have access to toilets in 2014. This was because the toilets were not connected to clean water and sewers. But the primary reason was, there's been no nationwide education and effort to change the country's culture. When Narendra Modi, the Prime Minister of India, took office in 2014, he promised to build toilets for his people. By March 2019, 93.1% of households in India had access to toilets. India's Go Air airline only hires female flight attendants. Taking advantage of a lighter female weight, the airline company believes that they can save $500,000 per year in fuel costs by hiring an all-female crew. At least 15.6 million abortions happen in India every year. Although the government reports 700,000 abortions every year officially, the real figure might actually be 21 times that, which includes self-administered abortions at home or in private abortuaries. The minimum monthly wage is approximately 31 US dollars. An average person in India has to work for almost half a day to eat a burger in McDonald's. The minimum salary per month is 2,264 rupees or 31 US dollars. And a high paying job in India pays about 74,062 rupees or 1,040 dollars per month. Women in India own 11% of the world's gold. Indian women hold an 11% share of the world's gold in jewelry and accessories. That is more gold than the reserves of Germany, the United States, and Switzerland combined. A territorial dispute between India and Bangladesh was settled by global warming. After a 30-year dispute between India and Bangladesh for a small island in the Bay of Bengal, the new Moor Island in the Sundarbans got submerged due to global warming. There is a waterman in India. Rajendra Singh was born in the village Taula in Bagpat district in Uttar Pradesh. 
Rajendra revived five rivers and brought water to 1,000 villages in India. He is a well-known Indian water conservationist and environmentalist who has received the Magsai Sai Award in 2001 and Stockholm Water Prize in 2015. You can find the Bouncer Village in India. Also known as the strongest village, the twin villages of Asola Fatipur Beri in Delhi have the most number of bouncers and bodyguards. More than 90% of men from this village provide the necessary protection at the bars and nightclubs in New Delhi and other parts of the country. They train daily for two hours every morning and evening to get in shape. This trend started unexpectedly when Vijay Tanwar was not chosen by the national wrestling team for the Olympics. He wanted to put his muscles to good use and landed a job as a bouncer. And the rest is history. India has the most World War II volunteers. Indians made history by having the largest volunteering army in World War II, with a total of 2.5 million volunteers. The Indian government protects a group of people who are uncontactable by the outside world. The North Sentinel Island is home to the Sentinelese natives, a tribe that refuses and rejects any contact with the outside world. They are among the last uncontacted people and remain literally untouched by modern civilization. The Indian government has prohibited any outsiders to go within 3 miles of the island. There is a village with no doors and locks and zero crimes in India. Shani Shingnapur is a village in India where the villagers do not use doors and locks in their houses. Surprisingly, the village has not recorded any kind of crime for over 400 years. The locals believe that their security comes from Lord Shani, the god of Saturn. Indian farmers use Coca-Cola and Pepsi as pesticide. According to agriculture specialists, the sugar content of the coke can make them effective in repelling pests. A religious statue in India has holy water dripping from it. Believers of the statue had been collecting the water drops and drink from it, but it was later to be found that the source of the water drops in the statue came from a clogged toilet. India holds the Guinness World Record for planting trees. On Monday, July 11, 2016, India set a new Guinness World Record for planting more than 50 million trees with 800,000 volunteers in a single day. There is an increasing number of Indian restaurants around the world. As the popularity of Indian cuisine increases around the world, cities across the globe like London now has more Indian restaurants than Mumbai or Delhi, India. There are more than 2,500 deaths on the Mumbai railway every year. This is largely due to the massive overcrowding of trains and the illegal crossing of train tracks. The good news is there has been a steady decrease in the number of deaths every year due to the increase in train frequencies and longer train platforms. Hindus worship snakes. Every year, Naga Panchami is a day observed by Hindus to worship snakes. Worshippers offer milk to the snakes and they pray to the lords to keep them safe from snakes. The Taj Mahal is changing color. Due to the high levels of pollution and contaminants, the Taj Mahal's white marble exterior is slowly turning yellow. Taj Mahal was once sold. Natwarlal was an Indian con man known for having repeatedly sold the Taj Mahal. Natwarlal was sentenced to 133 years imprisonment and yet he managed to escape the prison nine times. Natwarlal is considered to be the greatest con man in Indian history. The Taj Mahal was disguised during World War II. During World War II, the Indians placed bamboo scaffolding over the Taj Mahal. The purpose of the scaffolding is to make the Taj Mahal look like nothing but a bamboo stockpile from inside of a bomber plane flying miles above, and it was successful. The Indians repeat the same strategy when they are at war against Pakistan in 1965 and 1971. Indians are the top readers in the world. In 2017, India ranked number one on the list with citizens reading an average of 10 hours and 42 minutes a week. Getting the number one position on the list is an accomplishment for this country given that India's literacy rate is lower than the global average of 74%. It rained blood in Kerala, India. A heavy downpour of red-colored rain fell sporadically on the state of Kerala, India between July and September 2001. 
There were many theories behind the red-colored grain, but it was only more than 10 years later the scientists finally solved the mystery. The algae species, Trentifolia annulata, found in the red particles of the rain, probably came with the clouds originating from Austria. A woman in India married a cobra. A woman who fell in love with a cobra married the reptile at a traditional Hindu wedding in India's Orissa state with 2,000 guests. Snakes are worshipped in India as religious symbols worn by Lord Shiva, the god of destruction. There is a baby tossing ceremony in southern India. At the Sri Santeswar temple in Indi Karnataka, parents drop their babies from the top of the temple where 14 men are waiting down below holding a bedsheet to catch the baby. This ritual is believed to bring good health and luck to the babies. The ceiling in Chennai airport has fallen more than 70 times. The ceiling in Chennai airport has collapsed 74 times between 2012 and 2016. Airport officials said that nobody got hurt or injured in the last incident. The airport authorities were given a 35 lakh contract in Chennai to fix the glass panels and they hoped that that would be the last incident. A bus driver was struck by a meteorite in India. It is estimated that around 500 meteorites hit the earth every year. But unfortunately, an Indian bus driver became the first person to be struck by a meteorite in history. India's main source of income is from agriculture. India is an agriculture-based country and more than 50% of the population depends on agriculture. The agribusiness is considered to be the backbone of India's economy. However, the IT industry and e-commerce business are noticeably growing fast as well. A deceased body is cremated within 24 hours after death. According to Hindu funeral customs, a body is cremated within 24 hours after death, where it is usually placed at home prior to that. After cremation, the ashes are either scattered into a sacred body of water or other places that are of significance to the deceased. Only 3% of Indians pay their income tax. This is largely due to the young Indian population and more than half of the population depending on agriculture. Surprisingly, the top 5% of the taxpayers contribute close to 60% of the total tax collections. KFC provides the vegetarian menu in India. The food chain giant KFC has diversified its menu in India, now serving vegetarian items such as veg zinger, veg snacker, and veg zinkong. This is an effort to reach out to more customers. India has the biggest sundial in the world. The world's largest sundial in Jaipur, India is 27 meters or 90 feet tall and it's so huge that its shadow moves at a speed of 1 mm per second and it moves 6 centimeters, about 2 one third inches, every minute. The highest record temperature in India was in Palodi. India recorded its highest ever temperature in the town Palodi in the western state of Rajasthan. The temperature shot up to a burning 51 degrees Celsius. India values refugees. The fact that India provides refuge and assists more than 300,000 refugees escaping from religious and political oppression in Tibet, Sri Lanka, Bhutan, Afghanistan, and Bangladesh just goes to prove that. India recorded 26 holidays in 2019. India recorded a staggering 26 holidays for 2019. This just goes to show how expensive Indian culture is. New Year's Day, Makar Sankaranti, Pongal, Republic Day, Mahashivrati, Holi, Ugadi, Gudi Padwa, Ramnavami, Mahavrijayanti, Good Friday, Labor Day, Buddha Purnima, Eid ul Fitr, Trath Yatra, Bakri Eid, Eid ul Adha, Raksha Bandhan, Independence Day, Janmashtami, Vinayaka Chaturti, Muharam, Onam, Mahatma Gandhi Jayanti, Dusera, Dasara, Dawali, Deep Valley, Milad Un Nabi, Guru Nanak's birthday, and Christmas. Some of these traditions might seem strange to you, 
But there's no denying how deep tradition runs in India. It just shows how the people of India value their roots. If you enjoyed our video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more facts videos.